Okay, 2016 Ford Transit 350 high roof extended uh, wire harness relocation. Here's a panel. Uh, it's got two Christmas trees that come off of this, so that exposes that. <clears throat> wire loom factory comes down this line. These clips hold it down. There's a plastic cover that goes here that removes, and then you have your wire here for your LED lights. Um, so I removed the plastic panel here that goes here. Also the, the panel that goes here on top. There are clips that go on top of these. <clears throat> the top one is something that you're not going to be able to reuse again. See how big the hole is? Uh, you can hear the little plastic clips fall to the back. These can be reused. That's not a problem. That will be the lower ones only. You'll see the different sizes. Uh, small ones, uh, Small ones on top big ones in the bottom big ones can be reused small top ones cannot be reused unfortunately if you're wanting to put these panels back i'm not going to use them so no big deal i'll be using them as templates probably in the future so as the wire loom goes down the line <clears throat> it goes down this line here you can see these clips these easily break off for whatever reason i try to reuse them i try to go in the back sometimes i don't have access in the back to save them i'm gonna try to save as many as i could for future use if i need them you never know in case um, the plan is to run the wire here here I put this uh, protector this came from uh, Home Depot it was a uh, uh, water irrigation tubing so I just spliced it and just covered it so I'm gonna run the wire through here in the middle that way whatever I decide to apply on this side of the panel or the other from the exterior I won't have worry about uh, screws coming in and pinching the wires <clears throat> so I, I did that all alongside here I put this here to weigh it down so again this here and then also I'm going to use a, a wire loom to protect this the critical parts and also a, a rubber coating so it's going to be overkill but at least it'll be in here protected not to worry about friction coming in here and cutting through the wires and causing a short again factory here <clears throat> And uh, once I get to this back part, there is a little hole here you can travel through. It's going to be tight. It's going to come up in here, right about here. There's another little hole here you can run it through. The plan is to cut and splice here. Uh, found, try to find other ways to do to, to prevent from cutting through the wires. Um, but there isn't really no other way around it. I traced the wire loom all the way down. Well, the wire harness, I would say. Um, down to here. I removed this panel here to see there's a, a quick disconnect Down in here, but there isn't there is a few here But not a whole lot and if you do remove the uh, the disconnect harness clamp, whatever you call those uh, The heads are big so to run them through will be impossible. So there is no other way other than to cut the wires and reapply them uh solder i'm gonna use solder i'm gonna solder them and there i'm gonna add i believe about six by six to eight inches i'm gonna cut and then extend it <clears throat> so let's go back over here so i'll be cutting here right this is gonna come off then i'm gonna run it through that hole <clears throat> i better show you this hole before i continue this is how i cut i normally make a lot cleaner cut to this i'm really uh picky and i'm really uh perfectionist when it comes to uh working on any projects uh, i try to drill a nice clean round hole and a hole saw was giving me trouble so i had to come in here use a little grinder and cut a little bit more than what i should i spray painted it, uh, white primer and again that same material from the irrigation dripping system uh black tubing i use that to to uh to protect the the metal here I may uh, remove it and put some uh, uh, that ATF uh, gasket seal glue and then reapply this again. I'm not, I'm not too crazy about this. I'm not really liking how it's coming out. So um, to run this loom, it's pretty thick. It's going to fit, of course. Uh, this is the best location from that pillar of reinforcement of the area of the driver's side. Here's the driver's seat. So try to get as high forward as possible and this is the best location. I mean, there is room further front over here. You could probably cut one here and get away with it. But uh, I want to make sure I don't want to hit too much of this here. And it's a good spot. So in case you go to back, back a tree here or you try to use something here to panel, it's behind that area. So it's not a big deal. 
So again, let's let's run this wire here. Let's pretend this wire is in between the holes here. This is this here to put pressure on the uh, deal here that I was talking about. You will be able to run the wire through this channel without a problem. You're going to be able to run it here. Here's a little tricky, but you'll figure it out once you get in here. You're going to run it, run it, run it. Like I said here, it's going to be a little bit tight of a squeeze. Run it through here. Once you cut here, it will be coming, bringing it in here, and then untuck it here, and then run it through in here. I haven't done it yet, so right now it sounds and looks easy and everything, but uh, it's going to be quite a bit of work. Uh, not too bad, I hope. Um, I'm going to disconnect the battery, of course, before I do all of this. And then I'm going to run it through here. There's a lot of room here for your hands to come through. This one I'm going to have to cut. This one I don't have to cut because there's room for me to go in here and disconnect it. And hopefully this one here I have room to go ahead and disconnect it. I think this is the LED light. If it is, then I can take this off and disconnect it here. That would be the way to go and ideal, and I hope that's possible. Again, these are breaking off. You can only save so many of them. You only have that. Like this, it's almost impossible to pinch the back and remove it and save it. This one's savable, but, you know, again, I'm, I'm not going to use them again. And uh... So, anyways, here's a splice. Now, the ideal way of cutting these, I've done this before on my Jeep one time. I had to cut through uh, some wires. Long story. Um, so, they're all different colors the green ones there's a lot of green ones so you may want to draw them up uh, write down the piece of paper uh, the colors and where they go or take a lot of photos um, I've been doing all these wires for quite a long time and I do pretty good so they're all different colors uh, I don't think there's one identical other than the green ones are a little quite a bit of more tr uh, green ones here so I would, I would cut in this direction either way so if you cut it here straight then you're gonna have like a, a big ball a solder and heat shrink and whatever.